We start tonight with a story a year ago that probably wouldn't have made headlines, but given the current political climate surrounding education and the LGBTQ plus community, an event with drag queens at Deering High School in Portland is sparking debate. Hey there, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. A handful of protesters gathered outside the school today ahead of the event condemning it. They were met, though, with an even larger group of counter protesters. New Center Maine's Alex Haskell was there. We celebrate when, when schools are doing things to celebrate diversity. That's why dozens lined the streets in front of Deering High School, waving flags and holding signs. Advocates like Gia Drew with Equality Maine showing support for students hosting two drag queens. They spoke at an optional lesson after school about the history of drag and queer joy. We want all kids to feel safe when they come to schools. And, and programs like this at Deering do just that. These supporters were also trying to drown out those protesting the event. It doesn't belong in schools. People like Nick Blanchard, a vocal right-wing activist who attended the January 6th insurrection of the U.S. Capitol, and Richard Ward, who held It's an Okay to be White sign in Portland during Black History Month. I don't hate LGBT. I'm just saying it's wrong to sexualize children. But that's not what the event was about at all. Organizers say it was about education and acceptance. For young people, to see that there's queer people in their own community and they're doing, you know, they're, they're being themselves. Um, I think that can be really inspiring. Drag queen Chartreuse Money was one of the two presenters at Deering High School. We both went out of drag and um, it was not a show. Rather, Money says she talked to students about drag queens from the 1800s all the way to present day. It went over so well. It comes at a time when across the country there have been efforts targeting the LGBTQ plus community and drag queens. This month, Tennessee became the first state to restrict drag performances. I think it's important to know that drag and queer people specifically have always been here. And Money says they're here to stay, continuing their mission of spreading love and acceptance. We have a really special city here and a really beautiful community. Now we did ask to speak with students who organized the event. However, they didn't want to go on camera as they feared for their safety over criticism of the event. A statement from one student read in part, it is important for members of the LGBTQ community, especially youth, to connect with their community and learn about their history. Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine.